Hadith 1. Narrated Ubay bin Kaab, I found a purse containing 100 dinars. So I went to the Prophet, and informed him about it. He said, Make public announcement about it for one year. I did so, but nobody turned up to claim it, so I again went to the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, who said, Make public announcement for another year. I did, but none turned up to claim it. I went to him for the third time and he said, Keep the container and the string which is used for its tying and count the money it contains and if its owner comes, give it to him, otherwise, utilize it. The sub-narrator Salama said, I met him, Suwaid, another sub-narrator, in Makkah and he said, I don't know whether Ubayi made the announcement for three years or just one year. Hadith 2 Narrated Zaid bin Khalid al-Juhani, a Bedouin went to the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, and asked him about picking up a lost thing. The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, make public announcement about it for one year. Remember the description of its container and the string with which it is tied, and if somebody comes and claims it and describes it correctly, give it to him, otherwise, utilize it. He said, O Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him. What about a lost sheep? The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, It is for you, for your brother, that is, its owner, or for the wolf. He further asked, What about a lost camel? On that, the face of the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, became red, with anger, and said, You have nothing to do with it, as it has its feet, its water reserve and can reach places of water and drink, and eat trees. Hadith 3 Narrated Sulaiman bin Bilal from Yahya, Yazid Mullah al Munbath heard Zaid bin Khalid al Juhani saying, The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, was asked about Lukata. He said, Remember the description of its container and the string it is tied with, and announce it publicly for one year. Yazid added, If nobody claims then the person who has found it can spend it, and it is regarded as a trust entrusted to him. Yahya said, I do not know whether the last sentences were said by the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, or by Yazid. Zaid further said, The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, was asked, What about a lost sheep? The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Take it, for it is for you or for your brother, that is, its owner, or for the wolf. Yazid added that it should also be announced publicly. The man then asked the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, about a lost camel. The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Leave it, as it has its feet, water container, reservoir, and it will reach a place of water and eat trees till its owner finds it. Hadith 4 Narrated Zaid bin Khalid, a man came and asked Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, about picking a lost thing. The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Remember the description of its container and the string it is tied with, and make public announcement about it for one year. If the owner shows up, give it to him, otherwise, do whatever you like with it. He then asked, What about a lost sheep? The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, It is for you, for your brother, that is, its owner, or for the wolf. He further asked, What about a lost camel? The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, It is none of your concern. It has its water container, reservoir, and its feet, and it will reach water and drink it and eat the trees till its owner finds it. Hadith 5 Narrated Abdur Rahman bin Hermuz, Abu Huraira said, Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, mentioned an Israeli man. Abu Huraira then told the whole narration. At the end of the narration it was mentioned that the creditor, went out to the sea, hoping that a boat might have brought his money. Suddenly he saw a piece of wood and he took it to his house to use as firewood. When he sought it, he found his money and a letter in it. Hadith 6 Narrated on us, the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, passed a date fallen on the way and said, Were I not afraid that it may be from a sadaqah, charitable gifts, I would have eaten it. Hadith 7 Narrated Abu Hurairah 
the prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Sometimes when I return home and find a date fallen on my bed, I pick it up in order to eat it, but I fear that it might be from a sedaqah, so I throw it. Hadith 8 Narrated Ibn Abbas, Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, also said, it, that is, makkahs, thorny bushes should not be uprooted and its game should not be chased, and picking up its fallen things is illegal except by him who makes public announcement about it, and its grass should not be cut. Abbas said, O Allah's Messenger! Accepted care, a kind of grass. The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Accepted care. Hadith 9 Narrated Abu Hurairah, When Allah gave victory to his apostle over the people of Makkah, Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, stood up among the people and after glorifying Allah, said, Allah has prohibited fighting in Makkah and has given authority to his apostle and the believers over it, so fighting was illegal for anyone before me, and was made legal for me for a part of a day, and it will not be legal for anyone after me. Its game should not be chased, its thorny bushes should not be uprooted, and picking up its fallen things is not allowed except for one who makes public announcement for it, and he whose relative is murdered has the option either to accept a compensation for it or to retaliate. Al Abbas said, Accept Al Idkir, for we use it in our graves and houses. Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Accept Al Idkir. Abu Shah, a Yemenite, stood up and said, O Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him. Get it written for me. Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Write it for Abu Shah. The sub narrator asked Al Ozai, what did he mean by saying, Get it written, O Allah's Apostle? He replied, The speech which he had heard from Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him. Hadith 10 Narrated Ibn Umar, Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, said, An animal should not be milked without the permission of its owner. Does any of you like that somebody comes to his store and breaks his container and takes away his food? The udders of the animals are the stores of their owners where their provision is kept, so nobody should milk the animals of somebody else, without the permission of its owner. Hadith 11 Narrated Zaid bin Khalid al-Juhani, a man asked Allah's messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, about the Lukata. He said, Make public announcement of it for one year, then remember the description of its container and the string it is tied with, utilize the money, and if its owner comes back after that, give it to him. The people asked, O Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him. What about a lost sheep? Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Take it, for it is for you, for your brother, or for the wolf. The man asked, O Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him. What about a lost camel? Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, got angry and his cheeks or face became red, and said, You have no concern with it as it has its feet, and its water container, till its owner finds it. Hadith 12 Narrated Suwaid bin Ghaffala, while I was in the company of Sulman bin Rabiah and Suhan, in one of the holy battles, I found a whip. One of them told me to drop it but I refused to do so and said that I would give it to its owner if I found him, otherwise I would utilize it. On our return we performed Hajj and on passing by Medina, I asked Ubay bin Kaab about it. He said, I found a bag containing a hundred dinars in the lifetime of the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, and took it to the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, who said to me, make public announcement about it for one year. So, I announced it for one year and went to the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, who said, announce it publicly for another year. So, I announced it for another year. I went to him again and he said, announce for another year. So I announced for still another year. I went to the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, for the fourth time, and he said, remember the amount of money, the description of its container and the string it is tied with, and if the owner comes, give it to him, otherwise, utilize it. Hadith 13 Narrated Salama, the above narration from Ubayyib bin Kaab, 
adding, I met the sub-narrator at Makkah later on, but he did not remember whether Cobb had announced what he had found one year or three years. Hadith 14 Narrated Zaid bin Khalid, a Bedouin asked the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, about the Lukata. The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, make public announcement about it for one year, and if then somebody comes and describes the container of the Lukata and the string it was tied with, give it to him, otherwise, spend it. He then asked the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, about a lost camel. The face of the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, became red and he said, You have no concern with it as it has its water reservoir and feet and it will reach water and drink and eat trees. Leave it till its owner finds it. He then asked the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, about a lost sheep. The Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, It is for you, for your brother, or for the wolf. Hadith 15 Narrated Abu Bakr, while I was on my way, all of a sudden I saw a shepherd driving his sheep, I asked him whose servant he was. He replied that he was the servant of a man from Quraysh, and then he mentioned his name and I recognized him. I asked, Do your sheep have some milk? He replied in the affirmative. I said, Are you going to milk for me? He replied in the affirmative. I ordered him and he tied the legs of one of the sheep. Then I told him to clean the udder, teats, of dust and to remove dust off his hands. He removed the dust off his hands by clapping his hands. He then milked a little milk. I put the milk for Allah's messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, in a pot and closed its mouth with a piece of cloth and poured water over it till it became cold. I took it to the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, and said, Drink, O Allah's messenger peace and blessings be upon him. He drank it till I was pleased.